With so many different ways to make money online, it can often be difficult to figure out what information is real and what information is false. Because the people who do Amazon FBA will tell you how bad dropshipping is and list out a bunch of reasons. Same goes for people who say you should start a social media marketing agency or start a copywriting business. And with all this misinformation going around online, I wanted to break down five of the most common misconceptions when it comes to dropshipping. Because dropshipping is just a fulfillment method for e-commerce, it's not a business model. It's just the way that you, as the seller, get the product to your customer. So with a more typical e-commerce business, you would carry inventory, pay up front for all that inventory, and when someone purchases, you send it to them. Where the drop shipping idea comes in is instead of paying all that money for upfront inventory and taking all that risk, you're able to instead ship out the product from the supplier when someone makes an order. So you're only paying for inventory when you know you've made a sale. Now, make sure you watch till the end of the video because so many of these misconceptions are so believed out there that I can often change your opinion on whether or not you should start drop shipping. And at the end of the video, I want you to let me know in the comment section if there's any misconceptions I missed. If you're someone who thought drop shipping was one thing, you got into it, you realized it was something else, let me know if I missed something down in the comments. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to announce the winner of the one-on-one -on -one call with me. Essentially what it is is an opportunity for you to sit down with me and ask me any questions you have. This is not a sales call, there's no strings attached, it's just a good conversation and an opportunity for you to learn. I'll leave the winner's name somewhere up on the screen around here. Congratulations to you, DM me over on Instagram and we'll get the call booked. Now with that, I think we should start with probably the most common misconception, which is long shipping times. When talking about drop shipping, long shipping times is normally the first thing people reach for when they're trying to sell you on why you should not start drop shipping. Now here's the reality. This is not drop shipping four or five or seven years ago. Gone are the days of excessively long shipping times of 30, 60, or even 90 days. Nowadays, even if you're shipping directly from China, you're still able to get shipping times that are well under two weeks. And now of course, is that a long-term solution? No, but drop shipping in itself is not a long-term solution either. The idea with drop shipping is to merely test a product, test a business idea before you invest a ton of money into it. Your goal is to find success in a product, keep your customers happy so you're not getting a bunch of chargebacks and then improve on your business over time. And of course, if you're using the wrong supplier, yes, you will have ridiculously long shipping times. But if you know which suppliers to use, you don't have to worry about that. So if you're getting into drop shipping and you want to make sure you have the best shipping times, the supplier that I'd recommend using is called Zendrop. In short, Zendrop is a company that allows you to cut out the guesswork when you're trying to find a supplier. So instead of you going and trying to find the right supplier and negotiating with them and making sure their shipping times are fast enough and they're reliable, et cetera, et cetera, Zendrop is going to take care of all of that for you. And they really do this in two ways. First is they have a huge array of products already based in the United States, as well as a huge array of products that are based in China. These are all from reputable suppliers that they have vetted themselves so you know you can trust them. Now, let's just say you're looking for a specific product and Zendrop, for whatever reason, doesn't have it listed on their platform. All you have to do is open a ticket with them and they're going to go out, find a reputable supplier, vet them, and make sure you're getting the best shipping times possible. Not only that, but Zendrop actually grows with your business. So as you grow your business, and let's say you're doing 10 or 20 or 30 orders a day, Zendrop will actually help you bring your product into one of their 3PLs or third-party logistics warehouses. These 3PLs are operated by Zendrop and allow you to bring your product into the United States and have blazing fast shipping times. On top of that, it also allows you to have even more control over your fulfillment process. Even before you get to that point, let's say you're doing one order a day, Zendrop allows you to send custom thank you cards in every single order. This allows you to create that really branded feel right from the beginning, and it's something that, to my knowledge, no other fulfillment company does. Zendrop has a ton of amazing features that I couldn't include all of them in this video, so if you want a more in-depth look inside Zendrop and see how they'll automatically fulfill your orders or how they'll do custom packaging and custom branding for you, I'll leave a link to my previous video somewhere up here. I've also partnered with Zendrop for you guys, so you can actually get $200 of free credit, so that's free product, and on top of that, you'll also get over 50% off their monthly subscription, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Next up, we have myth number two, which is 24 hours is enough time to find success. Have you noticed on YouTube, there's so many videos of these 24 hour or 48 hour dropshipping challenges? The unfortunate reality of these videos is that although they are very entertaining and they get a lot of views on YouTube, they actually 
create very false expectations when you're starting dropshipping. Because you might see one of these videos and it's not your fault at all because no one really tells you this, but you might see one of these videos and say to yourself, oh, this guy was able to make $300 in 24 hours. Imagine what I could do in two weeks. Unfortunately, 99% of these videos have some level of inauthenticity to them. Whether it's people making it seem like they actually did it in 24 hours when in reality, it took them days to do that. Or on the other hand, maybe they're doing it in 24 hours, but the sales that they made, they didn't actually make. So I urge you when watching these videos, take them as just entertainment. Remember that these are in and of itself a challenge and not meant to be something that's realistic. Whether you're drop shipping or you're starting any business for that matter, it's going to take time. Sometimes I start a new online business and it takes three weeks to set up and get running and get some sales coming in. And sometimes it takes three months. But the reality is, is that any business you start is going to take time and no two businesses take the same amount of time. So don't get discouraged when you start drop shipping and you don't see sales within your first 24 hours and don't think that it's going to be an overnight success. It's for this reason specifically that when people come on board and they join the e-com brand in a box, when we're selecting a product to sell for them, we want it to be a product that they're actually passionate about. Because if you start selling a product, whether we're running the business for you or you're running the business yourself, if it's a product that you're not passionate about, when little hiccups or roadblocks or hurdles come up, and believe me, they will, you're going to be very, very discouraged and more likely to just give up because it's not really what you expected. So remember, take your time, don't rush it, don't expect this to be an overnight success and you'll be happy. Myth number three, the promise of passive income. This kind of goes hand in hand with the 24 hour phenomenon. A lot of times when you watch videos online, there's this promise or this general understanding that when you start a dropshipping business, it's going to be very passive. Someone purchases from your store, the order gets automatically fulfilled and you don't have to worry about anything. The reality is starting a business is not passive. There's nothing passive about it. You have product research, you have making ads, you have running ads, you have building a website, maintaining a website, order fulfillment, customer service, and the list goes on. Again, when you start a business, you're going to be the one doing absolutely everything. And yes, you can hire a team, you can hire virtual assistants, you can use Zendrop to automatically fulfill your orders. You can hire a media buyer to run your ads for you. You can hire a web developer to build and maintain your website. But at the end of the day, you're still going to be the one managing all those people. And on top of that, nobody really cares about your business like you do. So if you were to hire all those individuals to come in and run your business, those people are at the end of the day there for a paycheck. And they're not gonna be putting in the same passion and care that you would as a business owner. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't want to do all that and you want it to actually be as close to passive as you possibly can get to, my company, Daily Ecom, we offer the Ecom brand in a box. Essentially what it is, is we build, run and scale your e-commerce business for you. So everything I spoke about, we take care of. Everything from customer service, product research, order fulfillment, uh, building your website, maintaining your website, everything. Not only that, but we're also gonna show you exactly what we're doing, how we're doing it, so you're up to date as a business owner, you know exactly what's happening inside your company, and again, it'll allow you to get as close to passive income as you possibly can. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description to a booking link. That's gonna get you a call booked with me specifically, not a team member, not a salesperson, me personally. So go down below, book a call, and let's chat. Myth number four, you don't need very much money to find success. Now, can you start with not very much money? Yes, but will you most likely find success? Probably not. Now, don't get me wrong. I've heard stories and I've seen it myself where people start a business and they find success pretty quickly with not very much money, but that is not the case 99.9% .9 of the time. Then you have the other people who are really, really good at creating organic content. Now these people, they do find success and it doesn't cost them a lot of money. But if you're someone who doesn't really understand how to make short form content and post organically in order to get views, you're probably not gonna find success with a little bit of money. Before we dive deeper into this, we have to kind of understand what is a little bit of money when you're starting a business. In my opinion, there are two different aspects to this. First is the money that you have saved up in order to start the business. And second is the money you have coming in on a reoccurring basis. Meaning, do you have a job or some other way that you're getting consistent income? The reason why these two things are so important is because first of all, you need a good chunk of change in order to get started. Typically, I'd recommend anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars if you're doing it on your own. On the other hand, you want to make sure you have money coming in on a regular basis from a job. 
And I don't mean you're making three or five or six hundred dollars a month. I mean you're making a full time income. So you're making three to five thousand or more on a monthly basis. The reason why it's so important to have that money coming in is because it'll allow you to start your business and grow your business from a place of strength. If you start a business and you don't have another source of income, you're gonna be very scared and nervous to invest money into your business. The reason is because psychologically you know that, well, if this money that I'm investing doesn't make me money, I'm screwed. I might not be able to pay rent or I can only keep this up for a month or two. It doesn't allow you to come into your business and really give it all the money that it needs. You'll be less likely to take risks, more likely to play it safe. And when you're starting a business, there's nothing safe about it. So you can't be operating like that. You don't want to operate from a place of weakness. Now, the other part of this equation is a lot of times people start an online business as a way to make money to get them out of a situation that they're in. And of course, I can't blame you. I've done it in the past myself, and it's just kind of natural human nature. But the thing you have to understand is that when you're starting a business, you have to reinvest back into that business in order for it to see growth. So if you're only willing to invest $1,000 a month, let's say, you're only going to see results at that level. And if you're not reinvesting your money back into the business, giving it more on a monthly basis, so you go from $1,000 a month of investment to $2,000 to $3,000 to $5,000 or more, you're just gonna stay stagnant and maybe even fall off. I've seen time and time again, people find a great product, they start making sales, they start seeing the money that's coming in. They get all excited and they start going and living a different lifestyle. They start buying a nice car or going for nice dinners or doing all these things when in reality, they should be taking that money, sacrificing just a little bit and putting it back into their business. That right there is how you see long-term success. I was actually watching a YouTube video the other day and it was a lady talking about how for the longest time, for 10 plus years while she was starting her online business, she wasn't paying herself properly. In fact, she wasn't actually paying herself enough to cover her monthly expenses and she was going into debt. Now, would I recommend taking it that far? Probably not, but it just goes to show you that you sometimes have to sacrifice for a long time in order for you to finally hit that big goal that you're going for. In this lady's case, she was trying to exit her company. She ended up selling it for $25 million, paying off all her debt and now lives an amazing life. So a lot of it really comes down to how long are you willing to sacrifice for? Trust me, I understand it's easier said than done. I've fallen into that trap myself, but as long as you can stay away from it and not change your lifestyle while you're building a business, you'll thank yourself 10 times over in the future. Myth number five, and last but not least, this is probably one of the most ridiculous things that has popped up over the past six to 12 months maybe, but the idea that a $1 or a free Shopify dropshipping business is a good way to make money online. I don't know if you've seen all these people offering a free dropshipping business or a $1 dropshipping business or an AI build your own store dropshipping business. They come loaded with 10 winning products and they have ads and they show you how to run it, et cetera, et cetera. The reality is this, and I'm gonna pull back the curtain a little bit for you guys so you understand how these business models work. Because of course, when someone's giving anything away for free or for one dollar there's obviously strings attached or there's some way that they're making money outside of what you're paying them or not paying them so here's how it works these entire business models are built around the idea that affiliates are going to pay them and that's where they're going to make their money so for example there's a shopify affiliate program that pays you $150 or up to $150 when you get somebody to sign on. There's also a ton of other websites and platforms that have affiliate programs that aren't inherently bad, and even the Shopify one isn't inherently bad, but it's how they're being positioned in the market. What these people are doing is putting packages together that are based around these affiliate programs. A lot of these programs have a stipulation that the customer has to sign up and stay on board for a set amount of time. In Shopify's case, it's three months. So what they do is they build you a store or they have an AI thing build you a store that is basically a copy and paste of everyone else's store. It uploads some products that doesn't do proper product research. It doesn't get custom images. It doesn't do good copy on the website. None of that. It just kind of throws it all together. And then they give you a course. And the course is specifically engineered to keep you in that bubble, It keep you trying for at least three months. Now, are there people in these programs that might find success? I would probably guess one in a million, and I'm not exaggerating, it's probably one in a million. But you as a buyer are gonna come on board, get the store, get up and running, try, 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 go through the whole course. And at that three months, you might say, you know what, it wasn't for me, I tried, it doesn't work, I'm never doing dropshipping again. Well, you're unhappy, but you didn't really lose that much money, so it's not that big of a deal to you. 
and the person who's selling you the store and selling you the package is very happy because they just made hundreds of dollars through all the affiliate links. So before you buy one of these or sign up for one of these programs, don't find success and say that dropshipping just doesn't work. You have to ask yourself, if they could set up a store for free, if there was no cost involved with it, or even if the money they're making from the affiliates actually paid for the store, you have to ask yourself, why is it that easy? Why is it that cheap? How does that even make sense? The biggest brands in the world pay millions of dollars for a good website. And even for myself, when I'm building out one of my own e-commerce businesses, it costs two or $3,000 just to build the website. There are so many expenses that come into play when you're building a high-end, high-quality, really good business. And when you're spending a dollar or you're spending nothing and signing up for these AI-generated websites, there's just no value there. Yes, you might learn the general idea of dropshipping, but you could have gone on YouTube and figured that out for yourself. So please, do not get sucked in by these offers and thinking that if you don't find success with them, that that is the end-all be-all, dropshipping doesn't work, and whatever. Remember the old saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. I know there are a ton of different myths around drop shipping and I couldn't get every single one of them into this video. So go down below, let me know which ones I missed. And if you would like to enter for the one-on-one -on -one call giveaway, all you have to do, go down below, leave a thumbs up, be subscribed and drop some sort of constructive comment and you'll be entered to win. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.